Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is April 9th, 2021, and this is episode 268. Nottingham is the comic we'll be reviewing today. This is number two. It comes out from Mad Cave. And taking a look at the, the crazy art on the cover... It kind of signals what's going on in this comic because it's a different take. It's a different retelling of the Robin Hood um, stories. So on the cover, we, we see this is uh, the sheriff. I'm, ass I'm assuming it's Sheriff John. And that he's got his flashback for the Crusades. And then I believe these are the people that he is going to interview about Will Scarlet's death. And so it's kind of... A depiction of some of the events within this comic. Let's see who worked on this real quick. I'm having trouble with this font here, but I believe it is David Hazen was the writer. Shane Connery Buell was the artist. Luke Romano was the colorist. And Jormet Gill is the letterer. Okay. And starts off where at the crime of the, the scene of the crime where uh, if at the end of issue one, Robin Hood had come, come in and actually killed Will Scarlet, who was being held prisoner in the dungeon. Um, he was in questioning, but he wouldn't give, give up any information. And apparently Robin was concerned that he might say something that would get everybody in jeopardy. So instead of setting him free, he actually bludgeons him to death with uh, a guard's um, club. So Sheriff John's taking this all in. He's got Dale Blackthorne with him. And they're looking at it. And Dale had asked him, had he ever seen anything like this before, this kind of carnage? He said, yes, I have. I was in the Crusades. And we get some panels about the things that took place in the Crusades, all the blood, the gore, the death. Then we're we're back at the crime scene again, and one of the things that Sheriff John does notice that is he is bludgeoned on the right side, meaning the attacker is probably left-handed. No, right. So Sheriff John and Dale Blackthorne begin their interview of some of the people that had something to do with this death could or, or could have had something to do with it, this death that night. First the interview the the um the guard who was on duty there and because this is his club and he says I yeah it's my club but I was um taken from behind. I don't remember anything. I was choked out and I passed out and they took my keys. I I I didn't have my keys when I woke up. I had the dungeon master's keys. I didn't have the ones for the cells. So he was a little confused on all of that, was, which was going on. So the sheriff's taking this all in. It's pretty good. And one of the things he does remember is the person that um, took him down said, England is sick. We are the cure. So that's kind of something, a clue for the sheriff to work on. Next, they, um, well, then they test the guard and say, okay, here's your club back. We'll go clean it up. And he and the guard takes his right hand and picks it up. He goes, okay, he's not the murderer. He's using his right hand, not his left. So they next they interview, oh, who is this guy? Oh, he was the night watchman outside. And he said he saw a figure, but it was so mysterious. And the if you, if you saw the first issue, um, Robin and his gang wear these hideous masks. He says, well, I thought it was just you know, kind of like a ghost. It just kind of disappeared into into the woods. And he's retelling, he goes, I don't think anybody would believe me if I told them. So they let him go, and then they're finally interviewing the dungeon master who did not have his keys. He says, yeah, um, I was on duty, but I made my rounds. And apparently, he's not telling the full story, but apparently 
there was a prostitute and he was drinking and he spent time with her. And then all he said uh, after that, my keys were gone. He doesn't really fess up to that portion. And he's, and then he relates that, well, it wasn't even supposed to be my shift. Um, I had my shift switch and, and Sheriff John asked by who? And he says, by Dale Blackthorn. And Dale makes a break for it suddenly. So Dale, I don't know if he's in with Robin Hood or if this is just a new development. He doesn't want to get nailed for this, the murder of Will Scarlet. But he makes a break for it. They close all the gates in the castle on the sheriff's command. The sheriff just figures he's going to be heading for the, the back gate. And sure enough... There he goes, and the sheriff tackles him. They have a, a, a pretty um, quick fist fight back and forth, and Dale Blackthorne is able to get the best of him um, at the end here and get away. And so that's he's not Sheriff John unconscious, and that's where we let it let it um, ending this this issue. So it's really curious the storyline in this. It is. Quite a bit different than the Robin Hood we've been told in the past. So I'm I'm, I'm in. I, I I really like this. The storytelling on this is really unique. So I recommend this. This is going to get the com Indie Comics Jones good excavating seal of approval. And here's the cover for the next issue. We have the sheriff back there and the ship on the water. I don't and I don't know what that's going to signify, but that'll come out in May. Also coming from Mad Cave is Knights of the Golden Sun. They're saying it's available now, but I don't remember seeing this in the store. And then Honor and Curse, the story continues, and this is available now too. And again, I have not seen this in the store, so I can't give you vouch for it. Looks like I have a trade paperback for Stargazer and a trade paperback for Villainous. Hollywood Trash trade paperback coming out in May. And this is getting a lot of... I'm hearing a lot of talk about this on uh, online. So Beckstar is coming out also in May. So you might want to keep your eyes open for that. I will definitely at least do a flip through on that. And then we get an image of the guard that was drinking the dungeon master who loses his keys. <laughs> so... Like I said, this is a recommend. This is getting the Indie Comics Jones good excavating seal of approval. And I'm thanking you for stopping by and watching this review. As always, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments. And we'll see you next time. I got a few more comics to go for this weekend. We'll see you next time at the, at the <laughs> Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.